Hi there, this is Love Johar. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel and thank you so much for watching this video. Today we will start the Annex A, guys. So if you have been watching this series so far from the beginning to this video, we have covered the four different implementation phases, guys. We have covered the plan phase, we have covered the do phase, we have covered the check phase, we have covered the act phase. Now in this video, we will start Annex A and Annex A controls. We will discuss one by one, guys. Very important, okay? So please subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel already, okay? So that you do not miss this important information, okay? What is Annex A, guys? What is Annex A within the standard? Annex A is nothing but a catalog of 114 security controls which are covered in 14 different sections, guys. Okay, this is Annex A of ISO 27001 standard. These 14 sections are then further divided into subsections. One thing I would like to emphasize it in the beginning itself is that not all the 114 controls are mandatory guys try to understand this okay if you have watched the previous videos through the risk management process the organization should choose which controls are applicable to their environment to their business and which controls are not Okay, which we have already covered in the previous videos. Now, what is the importance of Annex A in that case then? Guys, a very important question then comes. Why do you study Annex A controls in that case? So Annex A gives you a complete overview of what all types of controls are there that you can apply in order to mitigate the risks, in order to overcome the risks during your ISO 27001 implementation. That is why Annex A is important. Okay. So Annex A is covered from A.5 to A.18, 14 sections. In Annex A, we will start from A.5 in this video. And I will first of all briefly cover from A.5 to A.18 what all is there. And then I will go one by one in detail into all the different uh, sections. Okay, guys. So A.5 talks about information security policies so a.5 says what are the controls that are included how the policies are written how the policies are defined how are the policies implemented how are the policies reviewed all this is covered in a.5 information security policies a.6 talks about organization of information security. It includes controls on how the responsibilities are assigned for mobile devices, for teleworking. What are the controls? How to implement them? Comes under A.6, organization of information security. A.7 talks about human resources security. Okay. What are the controls which are needed prior to the employment, prior to hiring, during the employment? What are the controls? And what are the controls after employee separation? Okay. What are the controls after the employment? Everything under human resources security is covered under A.7. A.8 
talks about asset management what are the controls that are related to the inventory of assets what is the acceptable use of assets we will discuss about acceptable use policy here guys how to create one what are the controls for information security classification and what are the controls for media handling all this will be covered in a.8 under asset management a.9 talks about access control very important guys how to implement access control policy controls for access control user access management system access control application access control what are the user responsibilities everything is there in a.9 under access control that we have to discuss this is just a brief overlay that we are doing at the moment i am just familiarizing you with what all is there you know in the different sections of annex a okay a.10 talks about cryptography a lot of videos on cryptography already posted on this channel guys make sure you go back and watch those videos cryptography we have already covered a lot of videos which me and akshay we created uh, back in the mid of 2020 while we were sitting in the lockdown so we created a lot of videos on cryptography already make sure you watch them what are the controls related to encryption how to manage keys what to do in order to perform key management everything is there a.10 cryptography talks about it then comes a.11 physical and environmental security which we which we have already looked once in the previous videos slightly when were, when we were discussing about putting smart cards in the entry okay so physical and environmental security a.11 what are the controls defining secure areas secure entry controls equipment security asset security asset secure disposal clear desk policy clear screen policy all these things under a.11 physical and environmental security we will discuss after that a.12 operational security what are the controls related to change management we have already discussed change management in detail a lot of in depth in the previous videos in the same series that you are watching right now that's why i said if you have just stumbled upon this video go back and watch from the first video so that this series makes more sense to you okay a.12 operational security controls related to change management backups monitoring vulnerability management capacity management everything we will discuss under operational security a.12 guys a.13 talks about communication security what are the controls related to network security segregation of networks production network development network testing network segregation of all these networks and these services will be covered in a.13 under communication security guys a.14 talks about system acquisition development and maintenance we will be covering that as well a.15 supplier relationships we have already discussed about supplier relationships and third party vendor assessment in the past videos as well in the same series again we will be discussing the controls related to what needs to be done in these cases of third party suppliers third party vendors what should be included in those agreements and how to monitor the supplier performance everything we will discuss guys and to safeguard the information from the suppliers and suppliers information as well everything we will discuss a.16 talks about information security incident management very important what are the controls related to reporting different events and weaknesses 
what are the controls related to defining responsibilities procedures evidences okay information security incident management this is what comes under it a.17 talks about information security aspects of business continuity guys what are the controls which are requiring the planning of business continuity procedures within your organization business continuity is a great aspect in itself guys a.18 compliance what are the controls related to identification of the applicable laws the regulatory information the regulatory laws the regulatory requirements that i have already discussed about for example pci dss hipaa soc socs all these regulatory requirements gdpr we have been discussing them over several videos in the past okay if you want to know about any of these compliance requirements uh, feel free to watch they are the videos are there in this channel itself okay so you can watch those videos guys so a.18 talks about compliance what are the controls related to identification of the applicable laws and regulations how do you protect your intellectual property within the organization how do you protect your personal data and how do you review your information security all these things are covered in a.18 under compliance so make sure that you understand that so one thing that you must clearly understand by now after reviewing all these different controls is that the information security controls are not only technical guys not only it related we have discussed about different controls which are vendor related which are hr related a lot of different organizational controls we have also discussed so one thing that comes out from this brief discussion of the different annex a controls is that the iso 27001 is not only about implementing it controls it's not only about implementing technology related controls it includes implementing an overall information security management framework covering all the aspects of information security be it hr related be it supply related that's why it is very important for you to understand this concept guys iso 27001 involves a holistic approach for protecting the information within your organization that's why it is very important that's why this standard is very important that's why understanding a successful implementation of iso 27001 is very important guys that's why we are studying this standard that's why we are trying to understand how to successfully implement this standard by watching these videos guys so i will conclude this video over here and in the next video i will cover all the different annex controls annex a controls one by one thank you so much for tuning in guys